Uh, this is a uh, first generation Tundra, which is the 99-2000 all the way to 2006. And uh, this is the double cap one, okay? If you have a Tundra that you're driving the car and you turn left, and the car is already left, but when you try to put your steering into straight, and your steering is still like feel on the left side, or even you turn to the right, and the car, you turn it back, and the car is straight already, but the steering still not coming back to straight. So that is the problem, okay? So I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. Many times will be the rug pinion have uh, play they will ca cause them like this also the bushing the holding the rug and pinion and the big bushing is worn out or torn or too much oil in there and have so much play so that causing the steering is doing that okay so let's go under the car and see what happened okay now it's under the car and this is the uh, bushing I talk about okay the bushing inside here and also have a bushing right here the holding the rack and pinion see that that's why when you uh, turn you can see that okay see that? See? So it have play right here. Okay? So when you have play on both sides, that will cause the rug and pinion is swung out. Okay. And the rug and pinion boot is already torn too. Pretty bad. It's the 22 socket. One over here is number. 19 okay. I put in the 2x4 right here so I can hold in the rug and pinion so I can punch the uh, bushing inside here out okay on that right there I don't have enough room to pushing the uh, bushing out what I'm going to do I'm going to disconnect my tie rod because I'm going to change the uh, rug and pinion boot anyway uh, already leaked from this side and the other side and I'm going to replace both on the boot so from here I'm going to detach um, my tie rod so I have room to take out the bushing Take out the cotton pin out You can hammer this out or you can press but I just use a hammer okay don't hit the knuckle with the tie rod hit the knuckle with the right here okay it should come off like that there see that that's how you hit it push this lines on top of this right here and then you have room to take this out and same thing the uh, bushing right here also need to take him out so the next one is this right here mm. this one's the easy one so the OEM one is a single piece aftermarket is two pieces so you can put one piece in there and then the following one will be like that.
I'm gonna lubricate a little bit inside here so it's smoother in go in. Using the loop, much easier to go in. Okay. Hammer a little bit. There. There. And the one over here, same thing. Loop with the oil a little bit. Make sure it goes smooth. And this is also two pieces, same thing. Okay. Push the one up down. That's it. And time to put back up. There. <clears throat> Put the nuts in. Make sure, um, make sure you mark somewhere right here. So when you count back, so you have to know exactly. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So exactly seventeen. So when you remember, you just count seventeen back. And that will um, will fit the uh, will fit the uh, alignment back in because if you don't count it, um, that will be off, and then you have trouble to uh, getting the uh, alignment. So I'm gonna take this boot out. Okay, and then underneath here. Uh, just break this piece right here off. Okay. So slide the new one back in. I'm using, um, bought this strap metal from Hubbard Freight. They carry this strap metal over there. So what you have to do, you can use a zip tie or you can use this strap. What you have to do, just pull like this, okay? Okay, that's it. And counting this one back up will be 17. One, two, 16. 17 and then lock this up okay and lock this castle nut okay okay all right that's it to do your rug and pinion boot um, thank you for watching, subscribe, bye bye now.